I want to talk about the top 10 most rare and expensive Super Nintendo games. These are ranked in order by the sealed price. How much a sealed version of this game would bring in because yeah. all of these have sealed versions that exist. But what I'm going to give you are the loose copy prices and the complete inbox prices and yeah, the be. sealed prices. Let's get right into it, y'all. Number 10, Metal Warriors released in April of 1995. Metal Warriors is a side-scrolling action platform run and gun video game due to the declining 16-bit market at the time which you'll find out that the PlayStation 1 killed a lot of these late games on the Super Nintendo when it came out because people were moving on from that 16-bit. Only about 50,000 copies of this game were ever produced making it rare to get your hands on. So if you have a loose copy of this game it'll bring in $425. A CIB will bring in $1,000 eleven dollars in a sealed version of this game will bring in three thousand two hundred and thirty eight dollars thirty two hundred what's interesting about this one i know we weren't going to talk grades on august 28th of this year i did see that a graded 9.8 wow. of this game sold for thirty one thousand at an auction That's crazy number nine pocky and rocky 2 released in north america in november of 1994 this shoot 'em up game was critically acclaimed but for reasons unknown it disappeared in into obscurity. A loose cartridge will bring in $391. Complete inbox will bring in $1,030 with a sealed value of $3,298. Number eight, Wild Guns released in North America July of 1995. Wild Guns is a shooting gallery game with an American Wild West setting along with a sci-fi and steampunk influence. Due to its limited delayed release, it has become a much sought after collector's item. Them, bringing in a cool 250 for the loose cartridge, 1033 for the CIB, and $3,306 if you're lucky enough to have this thing sealed. Man. Number seven. Arrow Fighters. Arrow Fighters is a vertically scrolling shooter originally released in arcades in 1992, was later ported to the Super Nintendo in 1993. The game never caught steam and was extremely underproduced. Most folks have never even played this one. A loose cartridge, listen to this, $1,365. A complete inbox brings in $4,384 and a sealed copy will bring in $4,802. It's getting up there. We're only yeah, on bro. number seven. And you're paying wow. four grand, y'all. Number six, and the only one that we currently have in our collection, Earthbound, released in North America June 5th of 1995. This iconic RPG actually took five years to develop. And, you know, when you play it, you understand why. Oh, yeah, it's a deep game. They deep. put in work. When this game was released in North America, it came with a huge box, like a massive box, big enough for a magazine to fit in it because Nintendo of America felt the game was too difficult and released it with with a magazine sized player's guide and walkthrough. Yep. They were like, these Americans are dumb. We gotta give them the whole shit. So when you see this box, you never forget it. This thing is massive. And the, the box alone will bring in over a thousand dollars. A loose cartridge like this brings in $367. A complete inbox brings in $1,700. And a sealed version with that big, beautiful box brings in a whopping $5,438. Number five, final five. Fight Guy. This one was developed by Capcom and released in North America June of 1994. Final Fight Guy is a revised version of the Super Nintendo classic Final Fight that replaces Cody with the formerly missing in action guy while making a bunch of other less obvious changes that were not as blatantly advertised. Because of this, Capcom did not feel confident enough to release it in the US until two years after the Japanese version. As a blockbuster store exclusive, which is why this game is so hard to find any of those blockbuster exclusives are super valuable a cartridge will bring in 510 dollars cib's bringing in 1722 and a sealed version of this game will bring in 5513 dollars now this one's interesting i love this john madden football released in december of 1992 for the super nintendo the legendary ea sports football game changed everything as far as we know for sports games on home consoles yeah. when we start talking about the value of this game it gets kind of funny because if you have a loose cartridge it's worth three dollars nothing if you're lucky a complete inbox brings in sixteen dollars but here's where it gets interesting y'all apparently there only are a 
few sealed versions of this game in existence. And that's why it's made our list. If you happen to have a sealed one, it's worth $6,518. Wow. That's got to be the biggest discrepancy. It is. And I know why. Because do remember back in the day when you would get these type of games, you're ripping that bitch There to is shred. nobody who bought this and didn't open it. Number three, the box variant version of Zombies Ate My Neighbors, released in September of 1993 in North America. Initially, the game was well received in the European markets and was praised for its graphics, eventually leading to a limited release in North America with a variant cover. And it hits our list at number three. So this thing was just super rare. If you have a loose copy, it'll bring in $695. A complete inbox will bring in $2,360. And that sealed version will bring in $7,754. Yeah. Number two, Hagane The Final Conflict, released in North America, June of 1995. This is a ninja cyborg action platform. Sounds awesome. Ninja yeah, I mean, cyborgs. Come on, bro. Due to all the hype surrounding the eventual release of the PS1, which was only a couple months out, this Super Nintendo game went heavily unnoticed, y'all. Imagine making a game and then hearing the PS1's coming out. You're like, fuck. That shows you how important timing is. Yep. Hagane remains a bit of a mystery among many video game collectors. While some say that this action title was only ever available via blockbusters, others claim that it was actually sold elsewhere in incredibly small quantities. Is That's... it a blockbuster exclusive or could you get it, you know, at a couple stores here or there? I don't know. I never saw that. Loose Cart brings in $873. CIB brings in $2,688. And that sealed copy brings in $8,640. Wow, dude. Number one, Exertainment Mountain Bike Rally Speed Racer Combo Cart. Perhaps the most unique on this list because, I mean, it was a duo cartridge. It had actually two separate games on it. You had Mountain Bike Rally, which was separate from the Speed Racer game. Here's what makes this extremely rare, though. The game paired up with the Exertainment Life Cycle 9XS Exercise Bike. They were integrating, what do you call them now? What do you call them? Things? Peloton. Yeah, this was Peloton before Peloton. <laughs> Shit just never got off the ground. You were playing a Super Nintendo game that paired up with this bike that had sensors on it. And, you know, movements you would do on Bro. the bike would be translated to the TV. You gotta look it up. The bike itself is selling between three to five grand right now on eBay. You better have some straight cash on you if you're trying to get involved in buying this thing. The loose cartridge alone, we're not even talking about the bike. The loose cartridge alone will bring in $2,552. The complete inbox is so rare, there is no record of it being sold so a sealed copy of this game will bring in between twelve thousand to twenty thousand dollars freaking wow so bro. i'm very curious how many of these are actually out there there's conflicting reports on this this thing was super hard to get your hands on it wasn't sold at traditional retailers you couldn't just go to like walmart or yeah. sears or some shit and buy this you had to buy this at very specific you know places that sold exercise equipment and it basically bombed and fell flat in closing y'all i do want to bring up two cartridges that are out there there is a power fest 94 cartridge out there that's worth a pretty penny and there's also the 1992 world championship cartridge a couple of those still exist but i didn't put them on the list because i feel like those are are different Boom. those have like an asterisk on it you yeah. know what i'm saying like there's no way you would have gotten your hands on those yeah. you know th these other games you could have went out into the public and purchased if you were at the right place the right time so there you go the top 10 most rare and expensive super nintendo games